German Chancellor Angela Merkel has presented a new law aimed at integrating refugees. But the bill is being criticised by aid organisations for violating the constitutional rights of refugees. Well, for more on this story, let's go now to Patrick Bernhagen. He's a professor of political science at the University of Stuttgart. Thank you so much for joining us. Firstly, under these new laws, what are the new kinds of changes or rules that refugees are going to have to comply with? And and why are refugee advocates outraged by them? Uh, well, the intentions of this legal reform are probably uh, rather well. However, I th also think they are twofold. On the one hand, the government is probably, or the government coalition parties have probably been trying to uh, compete with the uh, growing right populist party, the AFD. Uh, and to, in some sense, uh, prevent, uh, take, take the water off their mills by treating some asylum seekers, including some uh, recognized refugees, uh, with greater suspicion and uh, by uh, making their lives and their prospects in Germany harder and more difficult, uh, while treating others, those with uh, better prospects to integrate, uh, more favorable. So, in some sense, the main effect is that uh, uh, asylum seekers and, and recognized refugees are being divided into two groups, those with good and those with bad prospects for integration, and those with good prospects are having their fate made easier, and those with difficult prospects are, are having, uh, will see their difficulties get even worse. In your political judgment, is this law something that would be fair both to refugees and indeed the people of, of Germany who are accepting this large number of people? Uh, the, the fairness uh, question is, is a difficult one. For German residents, I don't think this bill makes a very great difference in the short term, although not all about is, is, is negative. And to the extent that considerable numbers of refugees will find it easier to integrate themselves into German society, into the German labor market. Surely this will also be beneficial for the German residential population. The criticism voiced by uh, non-governmental organizations is, is, in my view, very valid, because for them, for these groups, NGOs and charitable organizations that are working very, very hard to try and make integration work, for them, uh, there's a lot of additional red tape and bureaucracy to be dealt with as a result of this new law. And Patrick, thank you so much for joining us. Patrick Bernhagen there from the University of Stuttgart.